so you know you know very right to say that um, that conservation is not a new ethos for us in the Emirates. It's something yeah. that um, w has been a very much a part and parcel of I would say almost a national identity. Yeah. Um, and personally, that's why and how I got interested in uh, the environment and conservation. It was uh, not just about the species, but what the environment and animals and plants that, as you said, you know, we so depended on, depended on um, yeah. represented in a sort of national cultural identity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we talk about our national identity and we can't divorce that from the founder of the UAE. Yeah. who amazingly, 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 not only had this incredible moral empathy towards, you know, a diverse set of backgrounds and ethnicities. I mean, he was the greatest diplomat, um, but he had and he extended this empathy also to animals, to species, to even plants. And there are countless stories um, where Sheikh Zayed uh, stepped in and almost, um, you know, enveloped this voice of nature. Um, mm -hmm. um, um, in, in our region, but, uh, but not just for our region, but also um, for the world. And I'm extremely proud that these values um, were then institutionalized in institutions like the Environment Agency and now the institution that I lead, which is the Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Species Conservation Fund. And we work, of course, on species conservation. We don't discriminate between big animals, mm -hmm. small animals, insects, plants and uh, we work in more than 160 countries um, across the world. Um, so, so, so that is, is I think, um, um, an incredible value. And I think it also represents one of the reasons or that defines um, why we have succeeded uh, so well in the UAE in our development path. Because throughout our development, um, um, I can say that the environment was not an afterthought. It was very much part and parcel of our development and, and of course our success.